Shout out to the one and only Torque Fitness. They make a lot of fitness equipment, but a piece of equipment I used years ago and they decided to hook up 3SB, so shout out to Third Street members, we're doing what we can for you, is the tank. From the performance level, sleds don't work very well on indoor concrete. One, they're loud and obnoxious for other members. Two, it's gonna scratch up the beautiful and expensive concrete job that we did. The tank, they call it, is a, is a multi, very versatile tool. It's a sled on wheels, and it's not loaded with pound for pound resistance. It has a gear system. Um, and so my best analogy is similar to an assault bike, if someone's used that. Uh, and the assault bike, the harder you push, it's like a fan, and so the fan and the resistance will push back harder at you. You can go slow and the resistance is low, but as soon as you start to sprint, the resistance is turned up. And there are different settings on the tank. There's you know neutral one, two, and three to make it more difficult. I love to use it for sprints and rows in particular to get my heart rate up. And again, the harder I tug on that thing, the harder I'm sprinting into that thing, um, the more resistance it pushes back. And so it creates a very, very, very performance-driven, difficult cardio session. So you guys will see that later in the video. Give this thing a thumbs up. Let's dive into the vlog. Okay, does Anakin Skywalker deserve rehabilitation and a second chance? For murdering kids. Say no, what see, for. I <laughs> You can't cut that out. Well, I mean, if he doesn't know, he doesn't know. He, like, kills the younglings. That's pretty fucked up. Isn't that, isn't that order? <laughs> isn't that murder? Yes, it is. It is murder. Yeah, it's murder. Uh, so he wasn't a part of Order 66, but it happened around the same time. Yeah. They coincided. But he killed a bunch of kids. Well, so my, you know. How many? There's no rehab for killing kids, dude. You don't consider that rehab. I'm just saying I reviewed the footage, and I didn't see light skin, saber we touch VAR. skin. We so, VAR. I mean, maybe the kid had a heart attack. The kid? There was 12. Maybe and all 12. All life was on the maybe ground. they had a poisoned lunch. Like, you think he can come back from this? Maybe the Padawan cafeteria poisoned their little asses. He just got more evil, though, as it went on. As the movies went on. Not at the end, dude. He killed the emperor. The, 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 the epitome of evil. He killed him. Yeah, because he wanted to be the, te the best. No, he was trying to save Luke. They made eye contact with his son. I don't think you can rehab it. I think you're just out. Uh, maybe. You can do the great things the rest of your life. Pro at bodybuilding, right, let's just say. Yeah. You could work every day. Okay. You suck one dick, you're a cocksucker for life. You murder one kid, you're a kid killer. Case closed. That's it, that's it. I'm a cocksucker. <laughs> cardio man a lot of questions lately i've been doing q a's on my instagram be sure to follow it solid michael two k's um but multiple things when we're talking about losing weight if you guys don't know i've gone down from 250 pounds and my low right now is 208 in the span of about i'd say 12 months so i did a little bit of a cut i did a break over the holidays so october november december took a little break um ended up in the end of december around 230 and then now i'm 208 since january um, and my strength hasn't gone up a ton. Uh, I've gained a little bit of muscle because I had time off, and my, but my strength has maintained a good amount. Um, when first cutting, I think a lot of people don't understand the process, and all they hear about is tidbits from TikTok or Instagram or even podcasts. You hear all these little tidbits, and people try to apply them all at the same time. Um, and that's fine, but we have to find a way to lay ourselves. Uh, Professor Mike, let's go to an analogy. If you find an EDM song and the first beat of the first hit is the drop, it's not going to be as good. We need that build up and then the drop hits. And it's very similar when we're dieting. We don't want to all of a sudden say I'm eating 3,000 calories a day and I'm maintaining 200 pounds body weight. And I decide to start a cut. We don't want to automatically drop to 2,000 calories and add five days of cardio, add 10,000 steps a day. Because once we plateau from there, you will lose weight. But once, we, once it's, one, it's drastic, you're gonna lose more muscle than you want. You're gonna definitely feel less energy and probably lose strength and performance in the gym from that, which will lose even more muscle. And then two, once we do plateau, which is inevitable, where do you go from there? You're gonna do cardio seven days a week, eat 1,000 calories and do 20,000 steps a day? That just makes no sense. We want to slowly layer these things in. Now, when we're talking about which type of cardio, 
Typically, and we'll keep it real basic here, we have kind of low intensity, which is like a walk. Uh, if you're in decent shape, it might be a jog, a bike ride, an elliptical. It's somewhere where you can do the cardio and still hold a conversation without losing your breath. Then we probably have moderate cardio, probably be anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, maybe two hours. Again, depending on your goals. I don't suggest you do two hours of cardio, but depending on your goals. And you're at a pace on whatever tool you decide, bike, walk, jog, etc. But you can probably put some sentences together, but you're going to be breathing heavy. It's going to be hard. You're going to not want to talk. And then we have high intensity. Um, people honestly just go straight into it and call it high intensity interval training. Intervals means that you're taking uh, a work period and a rest period, a work period and a rest period. But high intensity, lifting is high intensity. Generally speaking, it's like 10 to maybe 30 seconds of work followed by rest period. Simply, the rest period is a necessity. You can't maintain the amount of work you're doing for more than 30 seconds. That's literally the definition of high intensity. There's a lot of people that think for strength athletes and bodybuilders that high intensity gives a better stimulus to hold on to that muscle because the power output you're using in your legs or whatever tool you're using is telling your body to hold on to that muscle. And there's a little bit of truth to that. The other, truth, the other idea of that is that you're not wasting time in the gym. High intensity sessions as a whole, not the interval, but as a whole, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. If you can do more than 10 to 15 minutes of high interval training, you're not doing high interval training. You can't go that long, right? Basketball is high intensity, but they're doing big old breaks. There's timeouts, there's time for walking, there's half time, etc. Lifting, same idea. If you're actually squatting a barbell you, with you know 60% or more of your one rep max, you can't do that for minutes on end. You'll literally pass out. And that is the definition of high intensity. So the whole session would be 10 to 15 minutes. And some people think that's better so you can get out of the gym and recover. Others say, and this is t where I tend to agree for most strength athletes and bodybuilders or people with physique goals, is that low intensity is probably better. Why? Because the number one goal when I'm cutting is to keep my performance and resistance training as high as I can. I built whatever this is, doing a certain amount of sets, reps, and intensity on the barbell, on the deadlift, on all my exercises. Low intensity cardio has a lot less of a uh, specific fatigue. So it's not gonna tire out my system, my CNS, or my legs as much as a high intensity would. Therefore, when I do have my leg day or my next squat session, whether it's a day, two days, or three days ahead, it won't impact my performance on the barbell or on the hack squat or whatever apparatus and tool you choose to use. You can do a little bit more of it and have less of a negative net effect on your training. So what cardio you choose, number one is we wanna slowly layer things in when we're dieting. Number two, high intensity's been shown to be just fine and there's a similar effect in fat loss and calories burnt, but I treat cardio similar uh, during a diet similar that I do like a supplement. It's to add to the calorie deficit. Cardio won't make or break your diet. It's really gonna be the nutrition. And start in a small deficit till you plateau for a couple weeks, then we'll take away and start to dig into that deficit a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like this thing, give this thing a thumbs up, share it with your friends, tag me on social media, it helps a ton. We're here to help as much as we can. New videos every single Tuesday. I appreciate you guys. Catch you in the next one.